Yes, indeed. What's happening, world? He wants boxing, and I'm back at it. Back at it with another post-fight review. IBF 112-pound title on the line. Rumor to any man ain't lost in 13 years. Two-time champion at, a, at the 112 pounds. Look, man, Ruchi Mutalini been out the ring for a while. And I believe he last fought maybe, I'm not sure, man. If it was in early 2020, it was late 2019. He was supposed to fight on New Year's Eve in Japan, but that fight got postponed. And here we are, April 29th. For the 30th, excuse me, he faces Sonny Edwards, comes all the way to England from South Africa to face the man, Sonny Edwards. And I gotta give the man Sonny Edwards props, man. The man beat Mutolini, man. He, show, he, he showed Mutolini's age, you know what I mean? You know, I was very reluctant to do a breakdown and prediction video on this because I was very conflicted, you know? Because it was just a matter of time. That man like Mucci Mutolini, that father time catches up to him. And Sonny Edwards definitely capitalized, you know? Boxed pretty well, man. The first, I gave him the first three rounds. First three rounds I gave him to Sonny Edwards. I think was giving Marucci Mutolini different looks. You know, boxing well, keeping him at the end of his jab. And Marucci Mutolini was getting out box. Point blank, point blank period, you know what I mean? Then he started, Marucci picked up the pace in round four. You know, started applying pressure. Had the match, Sonny Edwards on the ropes. Started to pick up rounds, you know what I mean? But overall, the high speed, Footwork on the man, Sonny Edwards. And I think these guys have sparred against each other numerous times, if I'm not mistaken. So these guys were pretty familiar with each other and pretty friendly with each other. And going into this fight, I thought that might backfire on the man, Maruti Mutolini, who it was his first time fighting in England. You know, it, it, to me, from how I took from the man, it seemed like, you know, he was not only happy to be fighting for his first time in England, but he felt like he's being, he kept talking about being given the opportunity. Well, in my opinion, he was giving Sonny Edwards an opportunity, you know what I mean? You know, and basically, you know, I think um, Maruti Mutolini gave this kid a little bit too much respect and too much credit, and it actually backfired on him. And I had uh, Sonny Edwards winning this fight eight rounds to four. Now, um, the judges had these four cards wide. One judge had it 115, 113. I thought that was reasonable. I could see eight rounds to four, seven rounds to five in favor of Sonny Edwards, but then the 120 to 108. And the other one was like 118 something, man. I, I thought those were horrendous scorecards. But what did Maruti Mutolini expect coming into England on a Friday night at that? You know, coming into the man's backyard. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that the man got robbed tonight, not. Nah, by no means. Sonny Edwards won this fight. Fair and square, clear cut victory, decisive victory for him. But Maruti Mutolini had to get a stoppage in order to get a W over there in England. That should have been his mentality. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't even close to stopping the man. Sonny Edwards, Sonny Edwards capitalized, and he gets the W. You know, Father Tom catches up to the man, uh, Maruti Mutolini. And, you know, it's quite unfortunate because I did want to see him in unification with Julio Cesar Martinez. Uh, I think Angel Acosta's at that weight class. Now, a Julio Cesar Martinez fight, it's still a valuable fight for the man, Sonny Edwards. That's now a unification, IBF, WBC. Guess what, Sonny Edwards? No if, ands, or buts about it. You have to go avenge your brother's loss. You have to avenge the other Edwards. I forgot his name right now, it's escaping my mind. The Edwards kid who got curled up like shrimp in a hot pot boiling, you know what I'm saying? Got curled up like a snail or a caterpillar. You see how Julio Cesar Martinez came to England in the rematch, because the ref said that that fight, oh, Martinez hit him later, and they gave him a, but the man, they said they do a rematch. Not only did, uh, is it Carson Edwards? I think Carson Edwards. Not only did Carson Edwards not renege on the, on the rematch, but he left his whole WBC 112 pound strap and left the F up out the division. You know what I mean? He got the F up out the division. Went to 115. Well, until this day, he's done, ups, done ups, absolutely nothing of significance at 115 when he was a champion at 112 pounds. You know what I mean? So it's only right Carson Edwards, I'm sorry, uh, Sonny Edwards, Avengers, um, 
the man, he avenges the loss of his little brother, or is it big brother? I don't know. But avenge the brother, the loss of the brother who got the F up out the division. He has to face that man, Julio Cesar Martinez. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, I believe this guy's all uh, over there with Queensbury Promotions. What's the guy's name? Uh, Frank Warren. We'll see if Frank Warren can get, um, you know, but they fighters don't fight on the zone. Matchroom fighters do. Julio Cesar Martinez fights on the zone. We shall see if that fight can be made. Angel Acosta, if I'm not mistaken, he fights on the zone as well. Um, we need to make these fights happen. More unification. We haven't even reached halfway in 2021. We're still, we just cracked in May tomorrow, May 1st. We need to see these unifications. Now, as far as Marucci Mutolini, I think his best days are behind him. I'm not saying he can't become a champion, but look, this guy's at the smaller weight. I believe he's about 38 years old, man. I think he exceeded expectations as far as his longevity of the division. And Sonny Edwards definitely exploited that tonight, and he took the crown off the man, Marucci Mutolini, one of only two champions from the continent of Africa right now. So now we only have one champion in Africa right now, and he's at Cruiserweight by the name of uh, Junior Ilungu Makabu. And got congratulations to the man, Sonny Edwards. Be March Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this fight, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Be March Boxing going under the tunnel. About to be dark in a second.